Hey good people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. I've been getting a lot of email requests lately for some, you know, some really easy and fun blues licks. Uh, lately we've been doing a lot of lead guitar lessons on, you know, rock and hard rock and soloing and more intermediate, advanced, faster stuff. So why don't we just get back to some basic, simple, fun and easy blues licks that anyone can play but I'm going to show you some a little different ones. We'll put some spin on them, maybe show you how to play some blues licks in a little different way, right? That you could use to spice up your solos and that will maybe inspire you um, to, you know, uh, for other licks, right? Because we just don't learn one lick. We try to learn from them. <laughs> jam track uh, minor key blues 12 bar but a, a minor blues in 6-8 time and it's basically a 1-4-5 progression uh, so the one chord is going to be your D minor 7 and that goes to the four chord which is your uh, G minor 7 and then it gets to the five chord which is our A minor 7 back to your one and then the turnaround chord is A7 sharp 9 so key of D minor, we're just going to use D minor, pentatonic, and blues. We'll use just one scale. We'll use the minor, pentatonic, and blues scale. I'll pull everything just from that one scale, one position. You probably know this position, your basic box shape. Right? And you know there's three D notes in that scale, those root notes you always want to kind of Come back and emphasize those notes. Resolve your licks to those. You have a D here. Another D here on the D string, 12th fret. Another D here, high E, 10th fret. And our blue note in that scale is our A flat. We have two of those in this particular position. A flat here on the A string, 11th fret. And then you catch it again here on the 13th fret on the G string. So here's the first lick I want to show you. So what I did there was based off of this double stop, which you probably know. But the trick of this lick is this part. What I'm doing is I'm using slides from further up the neck and I'm sliding down that blues scale. There's the blue note. So I'm playing these notes on the G string, 14, 13, 12, 10, but I'm using a slide technique where I'm sliding from way down here and you get these sounds that you might not have been getting before if you just play the lick like this. Right? I think it sounds a little bit more interesting. Right? You get those different textures in there. So basically, just slide up from way up high on the neck to that 14, 13th, and 12th. And then down to 10. And you could bend 10 a little bit. That's that minor to major third bend that we like. And then I was doing a hammer on this double stop. So I'm holding with my first finger the B and the G strings at the 10th fret. And I'm hammering to the 12th fret of the G string. So it's kind of a cool sound. Ending, of course, resolving to my, my root note. Here it is slow. Up. You could also do it like this. If you just want to maybe slide that last note, that's cool too. And notice 
very staccato-y, just for some different sounds. Instead of letting the notes bleed into each other, take off pressure, again, creating different sounds. So mess around with that and mess around with sliding these notes and bending. You know, it's not just what you play, but how you play it. So important. And if you want to get the jam track I'm using in this lesson, I have it in my, what I call my next level guitar jam track mini vault. It's a killer little practice tool. 15 killer sounding jam tracks, each paired with a written lesson, detailed where I go over the chords in each progression. Um, what scales to try or modes to try, why they work, right? And we go over everything in the written lesson. So it's very comprehensive and I have it all diagrammed out. So it's a great tool. Another lick I like is using a blue note from the previous box. That note again, remember our blue note is A flat. There it is right there at the ninth fret on the B string. Normally you're playing the notes like I showed you earlier here, playing that blue note or this one. Normally when you're in this box, you're not grabbing that one, right? But it's, it's such a nice one to grab and pull in. Just slide it, so you can get some really nice flowing licks going if you pull that lick in. Right, so all I'm doing there, I'm pulling it in and then on the G string, 12, 10, 12. Do it twice. Once, slide, twice, slide. And then you can go down the scale using those double stops. Back to our root note. But experiment with that note where you're grabbing it with the first finger, pulling that blue note in, which you're probably not really using. Um, you're using, like I say, these other blue notes that are more conventional in this box shape. Now this next lick is going to combine a lot of techniques to get it to sound the way it does. Uh, check it out, it sounds like this. Right? If I slow it down. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm first doing some hammers and pull-offs, then I'm doing a, a bent note, then I'm sliding, and then I'm sliding further. And I'm putting it all together to create this kind of mash of this fast lick that has all these different components to it. So the first thing you want to do is do this. I pick once here, and now this is on the G string. 10, hammer 12, hammer 13, there's our blue note. That's one pick, then pull. 13 to 12, 12 to 10. So get that. Then the next part of the lick is I'm bending to the blue note. See here, I'm hammering to it. Next part, we're going to bend to it. Um, so you bend it up and let it down. And then pull off again to that 10th fret on the G string. So if you put them both together, slow. And I do that all with one pick. Then hammer back to the 12th fret and quickly slide 13, slide back 12. So now we're sliding to the blue note. First we hammer to it, bend to it, slide to it. All different sounds. Now when you pull off and you're back to that 10th fret, now this time hammer back to 12, and this time slide all the way up past the blue note to the next note in the scale, which is our A. So you're sliding up to the 14th fret and back to the 12. Pull off to the 10th, and then you could play our root note on the 12th to the D string. That's the end of the lick. So if I play the whole lick, first you have the hammer pulls, bend, then slide to half step, then slide whole step. You can come in with this double stop. Right? Give that some vibrato on the 10th fret, the G and the B strings. That's a nice one. So here's the lick up to speed.
You can do so much just with those four little parts if you kind of break them up individually. <laughs> enjoyed that lesson and I hope those licks will inspire you to create some licks of your own. Take those, kind of spin them around, twist them, do your own thing with them, practice over jam tracks. Remember to grab my jam track mini vault. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description box below. It's killer because not only you get killer sounding jam tracks, you also get them paired with written lessons so you know what the chords are in the progression, you know uh, what works, why, and you can kind of use that as a template. Um, so it's a really cool, it's only like $9.99, so 15 killer sounding jam tracks, so grab it by clicking below. Subscribe to the channel, right? That's very, very important. We so appreciate that. Like the video if you like it. Click the like button, give it a thumbs up and share. I'm David Taub, co-creator of Next Level Guitar. Thank you so much for your support over the years. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care. Rock on. <laughs>